Welcome back. When it comes to fashion, many of us lean on the old standby colors of black or gray. I think I might have done it today, <laughs> but especially the guys. Stylist Darcy Camden is here with something she calls a man's color pairing challenge. Do mm -hmm. I have that right? Yeah. So we're going to kind of teach them how to incorporate a little bit of color without feeling goofy like some men do if you try to overdo. I want to show men a color that they might that might not be their first choice to choose in the store and then show them another color that that can pair with that might be a color that they already do own. And we can actually all of us gain from this, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. I think so. I Very hope good. so. I hope everyone sees some, learns something, and maybe maybe you don't even have to buy anything. Maybe you already own these colors. You have never just put them together yeah, before. Yeah, there's a thought. And people get a little bit afraid of color or afraid of buying something. Will it go with other things, etc.? And this kind of helps us open our imagination about what can be worn with what. Yeah, and I know people do get bored when they only pick gray and black and black and gray and navy the light or gray. maybe like a little yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what they tell me. They say, I appreciate neutrals for how versatile they are, but I'm getting a little bit bored. And the answer to that is introducing color, but you have to know how to do it. All right, let's see some of our models. You've given us three examples, correct? Mm -hmm. So come on out. So our first model is wearing coral, which is the color of the year for 2019 yes, that we coral. just recently learned a couple of weeks ago. Um, and. I think coral pairs very well with gray, which is a color that a lot of us own. Um, and that also, pairing it back to like a rich gray makes it seasonal for winter as well. So we can take what is more traditionally a spring color, cor bright co coral is some more of like something that we would normally think of for spring mm -hmm. or summer, but pairing it back with gray uh, makes it a little bit more appropriate for right now. And that's not overwhelming. That's not an no. overwhelming amount of color. That just However, looks really flattering. However, this, this is an outfit that I would show, because I work with a lot of men. Mm -hmm. And I this is an outfit that I promise I would show a client, and he would say, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. And then I would say, just try it on. Hold on. And they would come out and they would, once they're wearing it, yeah. it doesn't seem as crazy. So that's kind of lesson number one here is try it on because even if it seems a little bit crazy if you see it on a mannequin or you see it folded in a store and it looks really bright to you once you pair it all together and make it into an outfit it gets a lot more toned down and with the jacket on top and all of that exactly i did kind of um this is called monochrome styling or sometimes mm -hmm. i call it the double down where you take a color and then you actually take that same color in a second piece so we have a coral shirt from J. Crew, and I layered over it a coral sweater mm -hmm. also from J. Crew, And that almost creates, like it seems counterintuitive, but it creates a balance so it so becomes less about, oh, that's a single bright item. Oh, that makes sense. And, but yeah. more of a, like a cool outfit. So we've learned coral and gray. Thank you very much. So our second model has put together, well, he hasn't, you have, purple and navy, which is a great combination. I think so too. And this is, if you're just sort of venturing into color, purple's a really great place to start because it goes well with blue. It goes well with all the neutrals that I know guys already have in their closet. Right. Who doesn't have a navy sweater and some khakis, It's not right? such a big leap. It's not, whoa, purple. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit more subtle. And so this is a great um, button-down short sleeve shirt that I found at JCPenney for $15. Wow. So it doesn't need to be this very expensive new change. You can pick up a little color here and there um, inexpensively. The sweater is from Gap. And I want to do a little lesson on cardigans here for the guys. So when you have uh, lots of buttons in the front, mm -hmm. you never do the top one and you don't do the bottom one either. You unbutton from the bottom up to your belt line and your belt should be matching your shoes. Okay. So depending on the sweater, that's the bottom one or two buttons. And why is that? It's just a style thing. Okay. Yeah. But it also makes it easier to sit down, right? Your it does sweater make it isn't easier so to tight sit down. It doesn't sort of bunch end. up when you sit. <laughs> And we can see that your belt coordinates to your shoe there. Okay. And that's kind of the thing. That totally makes sense. Thank you very much. And now, model number three on paper, I was saying, okay, can she pull off yellow and green? So uh -huh. let's take a look. Oh, can it be done? <laughs> it can. Yes. 
Yay. So the eye-catching thing here is obviously this great bright yellow outerwear piece from Eddie Bauer. That's an awesome color. And if any, to any man, if you are thinking of making like a color leap, I think do it on outerwear because um, outerwear doesn't necessarily need to match everything that you own. It sort of becomes the outfit when you're wearing it and it helps people see you when you're walking outside. Yes, please, for all of us who are driving, be careful yeah. out there. So I love this piece from Eddie Bauer um, and underneath it we have a great green plaid shirt from Gap and I layered it over a green t-shirt. Nice. So I have a little, this is like the airing of the grievances. Okay, I have okay, a pet, do uh, it. I, some, I, have a, I have a pet peeve sometimes when I see um, white undershirts, especially mm -hmm. ones that are dingy or possibly mm -hmm. have holes around the neck. Yeah, no. Um, showing under a nice pressed button down collared shirt. And so here's a great style hat, guys. You can go to JCPenney. They have these crew neck undershirts in every color under the rainbow for under $10. And you just match the color of your undershirt then to the button down shirt. And you don't have that white you know, t-shirt yeah. collar line poking out, ruining your outfit. And that's the difference between what looks like underwear and what looks like a layer. Yes. yes. So there we go. Yes. That looks very intentional. It's, you know. Yeah. I think it's all this stuff is really flattering to men's skin tones too if they get kind of get used to it. But I like that starting with the outerwear because they might be willing to to do that if somebody is reluctant. Yeah. What do you think? Coral is kind of one of those colors that looks good on everyone, right? So we shouldn't I think so. be afraid of that one. Especially if you think that you could do kind of a more pastel tone. Right. You could do something a little bit more um, almost. I don't know, br brighter, or you could go even kind of darker into a richer, a richer tone of. I some love other the double down red. you did on the first model. That this, was great. The color double down. I have learned something today. <laughs> Thank you so much. When we come back, this week's round of New Day Hot Topics with two of our favorite and hilarious local authors. After a break. Thank you.